great to be with you again today. Um, it has been a busy place for us here, um, and um, we have had a busy week. But I am glad to bring you this song today because it really helps a lot with um, our focus, and it helps a lot on the busyness of life, and it really helps to focus our attention. We had a, um, a water leak in our house two nights ago. And we've been trying to deal with homeschooling and um, attitudes and um, how to teach the kids best during this time. We've been trying to do some yard work in our house and try to do cleaning and all of that stuff. So life is busy. Life is good. But God is always trying to teach us things. And this is why I really love this song this week. You, a lot of you will have known this song. It's called Turn Your Eyes. Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus is the hymn. And um, it's really about finding the right time in our life to, to finding the right time to pray and to read my Bible and um, just be with God can be a challenge, especially with four, four kids. And there's always a long list of things that has to be done. And there's so many distractions around. And life throws many curveballs, as you all know. And um, it's really easy to lose my focus in, in this. And Jesus has definitely lost my attention way too many times, more than I'd like to admit. And um, I've noticed that when my focus is off and it's shifted on him, then life gets hard, life gets messy, it's chaotic, and Satan is slowly getting in there and devouring. And when I'm able to keep my focus on God and make him a priority day after day in my life, he does amazing things and he really does open your eyes. So this song, Turn Your Eyes, is a great hymn because this is exactly what it's talking about. And it is written by a woman named Helen Lem Lemel and she was born in 1863 and she was a really gifted musician and a singer. And her dad was a Methodist minister and they were from Europe. And they eventually moved to the United States. And when she was a teenager, she traveled to Germany to study music because she was very gifted as a musician and as a singer. Once Helen traveled back to the United States with her family, she worked heavily with evangelist Billy Sunday's ministry. And she wrote this hymn for those meetings. So this song is inspired by a tract that was written by a missionary named Lilius Trotter from Algeria in 1901. And Lilius was having a quiet time with the Lord and she was actually reflecting on a dandelion that was in front of her. And she was really writing about the difficulty that we have to focus while living in a world where there's so many choices around us. And she wrote this um, statement Turn your soul's vision to Jesus and look at him and a strange dimness will come over all that is apart from him. And I love this because it's so applicable to us today. Lilius wrote over 500 hymns, but this is the one that is most memorable over all of them. And it is a promise for Jesus' help for our troubled souls, just like my troubled soul and maybe yours too. And I'm going to read for you some scripture that this song is about and based on. The first scripture is Hebrews 12, verses 1 to 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. And Matthew 11, verse 28, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And then Matthew 6, verses 31 and 33, Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these will be added to you. So church, don't labor in vain. Don't let yourself worry. Don't think too much about what could be. Rest in Jesus' words. Rest in his promises. And rest in his presence. And let him get your attention above the rest. I pray that this would be a goal for you this week, that you would 
just trust in Jesus, that you would keep your focus on him and that you would not lose hope during this time. So I'll see you again next week. Bye.